Studying astronomy is one of the most interesting and intriguing experiences one could ever experience. The more we know about our universe and other dimensions of our space, the more that we realise there are so many things which are yet to be discovered and full of mysteries yet to explore. Like our sun is only a single star, in galaxies of hundreds of millions of stars, and our earth is just a tiny planet with little mass, among the huge millions of other planets of other galaxies. We realise that how small part we form with our solar system, in the wide space of the multiverse that is millions of paths, places and mysteries yet to explore. It sounds so exciting and intriguing, right? Modern science and research has brought a huge revolution and has succeeded greatly through the past few decades. Advancement in science, in science and technology helped people to determine the very future of sun. Moreover, even determine the possible death of the sun. We have even mapped out the timeline of Earth's civilization, dating back millions of years ago. But we are blindfolded about our universe's most important and interesting aspect of dark matter. There is a lot yet to be discovered about that dark space. Scientists have been trying to understand the composition of the universe for decades. In the 1920s, scientists thought that most of the universe was made up of hydrogen and helium, but in the 1930s they realised that there must be some other type of matter out there which we couldn't see. They called this unknown type of matter dark matter. Dark matter doesn't emit or absorb light, so it can only be detected by studying its gravitational effects on other objects. We know that dark matter is out there because galaxies rotate faster than they should without dark matter present to hold them together. Thus, clearly, we, can see, we can't see dark matter, but we know that it exists and it exerts gravitational force upon other objects. All things like the sun and humans, which absorb and emit light, are made up of normal matter like neutrons, protons, electrons. Now this whole group of matter form only one sixth part. Surprisingly, the remaining five sixths is dark matter and dark energy. So, through all this theory and concept, you must have caught the theme of this video. So, in this video, we are going to discuss a whole lot about dark matter. Dark matter is an unidentified form of matter that does not emit or reflect enough electromagnetic radiation to be observed directly but whose presence can be inferred from gravitational effects. Dark matter was predicted by Earth's rotational velocity, rotation in galaxy, irregularities in cosmic microwave through gravitational lensing and with the help of temperature difference. In this video we're going to discuss about all those theories and facts of dark matter. It's just that some facts and theories we're, we are aware about and some we're not aware about. So let's start with the facts which we know first. Number one, dark matter isn't simply normal matter that we can't detect, like some dead star, black hole, or any asteroid, that we do have evidence for this. The discovery of dark matter was first reported on October 31st, 1933, by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky. During research, is it's found that the nature of dark matter could be cold and dreary. He noticed that the total mass in a cluster of galaxies was much higher than the mass estimated from calculating the individual masses of the galaxies in it. The discrepancy was too large to be accounted for. Zwicky hypothesised that there must be some unseen matter present beyond our own galaxy, which he called Dungal Naktria, or dark matter. During research, it's found that the nature of dark matter could be cold and enduring at the time of formation. Uh, there must be some particular mass and velocity of the particle of dark matter. And after some time, the velocity of matter was found to be very less. The particle did not move with high speeds, and thus, it was assumed that the temperature was cold when the universe was formed, and even note 
that the temperature of the universe during formation was high, unlike the temperature of dark matter, which was cold. Now there isn't any doubt upon the existence of dark matter, as during the formation of the universe, dark matter was also formed in huge amounts. It, it's even possible in other ways that dark matter may be currently forming, but we can't be sure about that, because we still don't know that many things about dark matter. We are all very much familiar about the simple phenom phenomenon that when any incident light falls on, a f on an object, few rays reflect back and reach our eyes and then we're actually able to see a particular object. Now this is very unlikely phenomenon when it comes to dark matter, as it does not reflect or reflect back any light, as it just simply passes through the dark matter. Hence through this we can predict another property or nature of dark matter that it does not interact with light waves or electromagnetic waves. Well, I mean we should probably name this as invisible matter. Well, do you know that the particles of dark matter are right now around you, maybe even passing through you? The discovery of dark matter was done many decades ago, even though we can't smell, taste, see or hear it but it still does exist and its effect is seen on other normal matter in gravitational form. There are many proofs evidencing the existence of dark matter coming upon its explanation. Now there is one concept according to which planets are close to the sun rotate faster than one away from the sun. Now if we apply the same concept to the galaxy we find that the material which is present at the centre of the Earth rotates faster than the material present in the outer part, but upon research and measurement it was found that the speed of the inner material is the same as the outer material. What can we conclude about this theory? Coming upon its logical explanation as we are aware about the fact that there is a huge amount of dark matter present in the universe without which our existence wouldn't be possible. Dark matter is like the glue to our universe which adheres all matter together, and hypothetically due to this very reason stars and galaxies formation is possible. Now you must think that if there is no black matter formation of stars and galaxies wouldn't be possible, and in inevitably so, even our existence wouldn't be possible. Coming up to the second part of the video, let's know that the facts about dark matter from which are all a little bit untouched. Let's draw some light upon these aspects, and as we know that normal matters, uh, particles are uh, composed of neutrons, protons and electrons, some re researchers believe that the particles of dark matter are probably composed of the same constituent particles, just like normal matter par par particles are the articles of dark matter. There could be a dark proton, dark electron and dark neutron. And some scientists believe that the dark matter particle only consists of one dark neutron in the centre of an atom. Note here that these are just pre preli assumed theories that aren't legit in any reality and we still haven't found a terminal end to this theory. Now, it may even be possible that the way like normal matter particles come in contact uh, with one another they interact and produce uh, the electrostatic force and in the same way, the constituent particles of dark matter must interact with each other and produce some dark energy to which some dark force is being exerted. Again, this is just an assumption. We don't exactly know about the actual properties of dark matter, but we got to know through a little research about the mass of particles, which is expected to be of very low mass at the time of its formation. The temperature of the nature must be really quite cold so this may particles behave like an anion. There is another possibility that this small number of particles are maybe of heavier mass particles which are formed after the formation of the universe. Hence particles like neutralino. Or maybe there are no particles of dark matter. In actual fact it's just filled up with something matrix and behaves as a, as a fluid which is spread through the universe. Well, in this massive endless universe, every matter is consistently trying to be in its respective stable form, just like an atom tries to complete its octet. They form chemical bonds so that they can be in their equilibrium state. 
so we can apply a relatively similar theory to dark matter. There may be dark matter acts as a stabiliser to our universe's existence, keeping it in equilibrium. It's even possible that the existence of dark matter maybe is to nullify its twin's dark energy's effect. That is still a great mystery. Before bringing an end to this clip, let me tell you one amazing fact about dark matter. That due to the presence of dark matter's energy, our universe is expanding at a speed even greater than light. What if we get to know everything about the mystery of dark matter? What if, after knowing about dark matter, we could solve the mystery of the multiverse and its theories? What would happen if we ever happened to interact with other dimensional forces? Comment down below your own ideas and intriguing theories stirring in your head. Again, don't forget to write down the amazing theories running in your head down below in our comment section. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, make sure to subscribe for other videos like this and leave any comments down below. Thank you all, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll speak to you in the next video.